Amid the Israel-Hamas war, tensions are now rising in the Red Sea, where there is a major trade route as Yemen's Houthis attack ships in support of Palestinians. The U.S. has formed a coalition involving over 20 nations to tackle this. An Songjin takes a closer look. As drone and missile attacks by Yemen-based Houthi militants continue against ships passing through the Red Sea and Suez Canal, more nations are joining efforts to protect the waterway. The U.S. Department of Defense announced on Thursday that more than 20 countries were now taking part in the U.S.-led coalition, Operation Prosperity Guardian. All countries have the right to move freely and lawfully in international waters. But that foundational global right is under new threat today from the totally unacceptable attacks on merchant vessels by the Houthis in Yemen. We've launched Operation Prosperity Guardian. The multinational force is to safeguard commercial traffic in the Red Sea from the Iran-backed rebel movement by providing vessels, staff and other support. The crisis in the Red Sea grew over Houthi support of Palestine over the Israel-Hamas war. At least a dozen shipping lines have suspended use of the waterway that caters to some 10 percent of world trade. The coalition started with more than a dozen countries including the UK, Canada, France, Italy, Norway and others. It is absolutely essential that those maritime corridors, that the free movement of ships, of goods, of manufacturers, of oil, of world trade, that they keep going. It will be, that is what Operation Prosperity Guardian is all about and Britain is proud to take part in that. The Pentagon noted that at least eight countries refused to be named due to political sensitivity as regional tensions tightened over the Israel-Hamas war. Countries such as Saudi Arabia and the UAE declined to join over future relationships with Iran, and Australia refused to join, declaring that diplomacy was better than violence. Though South Korea did not explicitly state to join the coalition, it is looking at ways to contribute to protecting the sea route following the U.S.'s request. The Red Sea is a major trade route that connects Asia with Europe and North America via the Suez Canal. Instead of passing through the Red Sea and the Suez Canal, some container ships were diverted around the Cape of Good Hope, adding an extra 10 to 14 days to their trips. Currently, 158 vessels with approximately 2.1 million containers, worth 105 billion U.S. dollars, are changing their routes to alternatives. Logistics companies are looking to find alternative trade routes, such as the Transcontinental Railroad or the Panama Canal, while carefully calculating the transportation time and cost as shipping costs sharply rise. An Songjin, Arirang News.